Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Bay Degree, a retro style hotel management horror game that's part of the Third Dread X collection. Oh, going for a PC 98 aesthetic. Hello, and welcome to the Bay Degree Hotel. I'm the night manager, Palm. Is this your first time working the night shift? Don't worry, the night shift is quiet, and our work list is very simple. Let's see, first off, the vending machines break down easily around here. Usually I just shake them a little and they turn back on. Don't tell my boss. Secondly, we should keep an eye out for any lost items guests have accidentally left behind. And last of all, we should check the empty rooms. Housekeeping sometimes forgets to tidy a desk or clean a mirror. Oh, and one more thing. I, uh, lost the key to the penthouse floors. Uh, help me keep a lookout for it, thanks. And that's it. Let's get started. I have a feeling this is going to be a really fun night. Default controls, walk, action, menu. Some jobs require the mouse. Oh boy. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. This is true old school style. Oh my god, this is so accurate. Okay. Let's go and do some work. Let's use the keys. Whoa, oh! I wasn't even paying attention, like I didn't know it was a mini game. Okay, so they want us to shake these. They're a little like... Okay, we fixed it. Good job! Looks like a bar over there. Oh, I see. Yeah, you shake those machines. Good job. Oh my god, this game is amazing. We can always go back to a job we didn't finish. So what's in here? Pool. Um, we found some toy dice? What? I have no idea what that's gonna be for, but maybe it's gonna save our life someday. But yeah, this is, this is so authentically made. I'm just honestly amazed someone would. It's one thing to emulate like, oh, sprites in a retro style. This has got down to like the fade out shader effect. And that's, that's a little scary. Like I would not question this game if it's appeared. If you told me like, oh, this was this made it this year, I would not probably not question it. Okay, floor one. I won a wine tasting contest once. Turns out it's a wine tasting festival. Looks like we have some guests sleeping in here. What needs to be fixed here? Found a toy gun. Let's use the mouse. What do you want me to do? I'm assuming something goes in the trash. No. No, files go there. Pencils go here. That one is like... These one looks like knives and monsters, but let's not worry about that. Kids draw that all the time. Yay. We need to be clean here. Let's use the mouse. There we go. Now we'll just use our hands to uh, clean the mirror. Good job. Oh no, we have another machine here that needs to be fixed. There's gonna be an ending tied to like not fixing all these machines. The vending machine's coming to revenge. We found the penthouse key. Sweet. So, so far this is a relaxing game. Not really a scary one. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty comfy right now. Like it's pure soul. Let me help you clean, buddy. See. Remember. Remember? Put the 
pencils away. And there we go. Yay! Don't need to work on that. We got two vending machines here, though. Good job. I'm a little concerned how, uh, all my shits are, like, broken. But this thing has, like, incredible crisis timing. You actually have to hit it before it kind of gets to it, not when it's out on Okay. Floor triple. Who needs... Room service. What's going on here? You want me to clean your desk for you also? Toy book. Hmm. There might be an item per floor. I should maybe go back to the previous one. I might miss something. Why do all of you leave CDs out? Why? So messy. Every single one of you has like kids and leave CDs out. Ooh, two jobs here. Um, nope. This one listens to Vaporwave. All done. And vending machine. Like, the game is so comfy and well done, there were some numbers on the wall, by the way, that I'm a little, like, wondering, like, where's the... Where's the horror gonna come in? Is there gonna be any horror? Who knows? Oh, here we go. So you can go in other rooms, even if you like, don't need to do work in them. It's gotta, like... It has to be, like, empty. Floor 4. This would be considered a bad luck floor. In Asian countries, the point where they sometimes don't list it. Toy shirt. What is with the toy items? Okay. Put the CD away. Ignore all these weird papers. This would be in every room. Put the pencils away. Yay. -y. What are you done here? Um, that's a bubble CD. Okay. Yay. -y. Is there someone here? Secrets? No? Gotta fix his machine, though. All done. Four five. Cake sounds really good right now. Item over there. Maybe the items are gonna come in later, or they're for a secret ending. Use the mouse. Do you people need to like st stop running the water when you're not using it? It's such a waste. Nice. Toy eel. Wow, that's specific. All fixed. We've got a pro with this. We're doing a good job. My nephew really likes video games. He wants me to play something called Bread X. Games are weird. Oh yeah, Bread X. It's a great game. 
That was a lot of bread. Um, okay, I, I, I did see someone there, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think I saw him earlier in another room. It's like in the drawing right there. But I could just be working too hard. It's very much a possibility here. Yay. -y. Maybe, maybe it's a kid ghost. That's why it's like, it's purposely leaving all this stuff out. Oh, there's another little game I played. There we go. Got a new skill. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Cut it out. Ooh, toy. Toy banana. B b banana. Put those away. Get the CD going. Grab all the pencils. Bam. Now we gotta fix these. Maybe it's the ghost of vending machines. It's just ruining all the vending machines. <laughs> their, their item got stuck in the vending machine, so they're just like getting revenge. <laughs> Bam, there we go. Now we gotta go to the penthouses. I want to go to the specific ocean and play with dolphins this summer. Penthouse one. Uh, weird symbol. These are a uh, hell of a penthouse. Toy bear. I guess nothing's going on here. Next penthouse. Last floor. Hey, no. A job has been added to the list. Make them pay. Oh God, I'm, I'm the ghost. I'm gonna get you. Did you see the commercial of that weird claymation movie about hot dog? It looks scary. Penthouse one. Anyone here? Anyone hiding? You know, if feathers are just bird leaves, I, I don't think it works that way. But cool. I see someone in there. Run, run. You're gonna burn, all right. You listen to the new Hot Gym album yet? I admire your ability to like keep a smile on and still work, despite you being some kind of wraith. I see you in there, buddy. You're gonna burn, all right. What if it's possible to domesticate a dingo? Green mushroom in the lobby bathroom toilet. Gross. Hey, buddy. Maybe you shouldn't do weird rituals in the penthouse. You lost your deposits, sir. Hmm. 
for two. I see you there. The guests have found their rest. The faithful found their beast. Well, what a beautiful morning. I can't remember the last time I saw one so pretty. It makes you feel like a curse has been lifted, doesn't it? What is going on? Thank you so much for helping me out. Let's get out of here and grab breakfast, hmm? My treat. Uh... You're alive after all? Sure. The end. I just want to show a small detail because I went back a little bit into the game. But... You, if you don't like do all the jobs... And you go back at it... As this ghostly form... It actually, actually adds that detail. Like, you are... In the ghostly form doing her jobs, and I think that's that's pretty cool. How's this? Oh, I mean, we look fine. We're good. Nice. A little charming looking with our whole uh, undead image. <laughs> Oh god. Everything's covered in blood now. Wow, what a busy night, but we got it all taken care of, didn't we? Um, it skipped to the next dialogue, sadly. It was like another dialogue there. I guess it's a never ending. So doing all the work first was the good ending. Not doing all the work and just killing one was the bad ending. So that's it for Bay Degree. A very stylistic game, I'd say. Uh, there's not much as far as gameplay. It's part of that, I call it like, job horror game, where you just do kind of something mundane over and over again, and then something happens. Um, but once again, I always remind people, these are games that are made in basically 10 days, so they don't get to like run their full length that you would for something like this. I don't know if there's a never ending. I don't think there is, but maybe there could be. But I'm gonna assume right now that's all the endings. And I'm also gonna assume that from the start of the game, that the main character was already dead, per se, and killed by the, the cultists at the end there, because you see like little flashbacks. If you kind of freeze him, you kind of see um, that I think some of the guests and the, the uh, hotel worker were killed by them. So when you arrived there, it wasn't so much that you were getting killed fresh, it was more like you resurfaced the memories and you went and hunted them down. So in the bad ending, you don't do all the jobs, and then you kill them all. And then you're still kind of trapped there, you're still like this vengeful ghost thing. And then the good ending, you do all the jobs and kill them all, and I guess a curse is released? I, I don't think your spirit's been released, I think you literally just been revived, like... It, it's some weird ritual, locked your soul in there, now that's over with, you, you're free. So, if you do your work, you can go free. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, very stylistic game, very accurate in a scary way in some ways, and it did have a bit of a mood and atmosphere. The only thing it didn't have going for it was um, length, and it could have used some more hotel-like management mini games like vacuuming and other forms of cleaning and stuff like that. Little leaks of horror here and there. So that kind of comes back to length once again. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Beta Degree. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.